For today's video, we're gonna... With the fully upgraded Drifter, which is the new Rat Rod steering wheel melee weapon. And the way I was able to get it was from the Fortnite Mares Llamas during the second Halloween event. The first thing I noticed is that the steering wheel does move and it turns in both directions, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, before we go over the perks, I did want to spin it around real quick just to show you what the entire thing looks like. But yeah, it's basically just a steering wheel. And the perks that we have on ours are crit rating, movement speed, physical damage, damage, damage to miss monsters and bosses, and hitting an enemy with this weapon grants a plus six increase to crit rating for five seconds. And that can stack up to five times. And at the very bottom it says club medium rat rod, a medium club with a good balance of damage and speed at the cost of lower impact. And it also has the home run heavy attack that's focused on impact and it has a knockback that will send enemies flying. So with your regular attacks, you're not going to have as much impact, but you will have more if you use your home run heavy attack. But yeah, these are the roles that we have on ours. And this is actually our first time getting gameplay with a club melee weapon. And we currently don't have any heroes that have perks to help you do more damage with clubs. So I wasn't exactly sure which hero loadout we should use. I originally thought we should use Steel Wool Sid, but the only perk of his that actually helps you do more damage with clubs is his lightweight perk. So as you can see, our current attack speed for the Drifter is 0.65, but once we change our primary hero to Steel Wool Sid, it ends up changing our attack speed to 0.52 seconds. So according to his stats, his lightweight perk does increase your attack speed with the Drifter, but that's pretty much the only perk that helps you do more damage with clubs. None of his other perks actually apply to clubs. So his hammer critical chance perk isn't going to increase your crit chance with clubs. His software perk doesn't increase your energy efficiency with clubs. As you see, it costs 30 energy while using Steel Wool Sid. And it also costs 30 energy to use your heavy attack when playing with Guardian Bull. So that perk doesn't apply to clubs either. And yeah, the only perk of his that actually helps you do more damage with clubs is that lightweight perk because it increases your attack speed. So in my opinion, he's not really a good hero when it comes to using clubs. Instead, I think a better hero to use when it comes to using a drifter is Tank Penny. And the drifter's not gonna trigger her kinetic overload either. But the reason we're playing with her is because she got a great ass. It's because she has the actuated attacks perk, which is gonna increase blunt melee damage by 25%. And that includes clubs as well as hammers. And this is the main reason we're gonna be using Tank Penny instead of Steel Wool Sid. And I know that perk helps you do more damage with the Drifter because if you look at the damage, it says 33,911. And when we put Tank Penny in our primary slot, it increases our damage to 38,192. So I know that perk is gonna help you do more damage with clubs. And again, that's the main reason I would recommend using Tank Penny if you plan on playing with the Drifter. Because again, as of right now, we don't have any heroes that help you do more damage with clubs. So this is the hero we're going to use while getting gameplay with the Drifter. When it comes to your support slot, you're going to want to use a hero that has the actuated attacks squad bonus because that's also going to help you do more damage with clubs. And if you don't have Blitz and Base Kyle, you can also use Electro Pulse Penny. She also has the actuated attack squad bonus and you can recruit her from the collection book. But yeah, just like with Tank Penny's actuated attacks perk, this actuated attack squad bonus also applies to clubs because without that squad bonus, we're only doing 34,000 damage, but with the squad bonus, we're doing 38,000 damage. I wasn't sure if Guardian Bull's support squad bonus actually increases your crit rating with blunt melee weapons, so I tried it out and it didn't increase our crit rating at all, so I don't think that's going to apply to clubs. And for our tactical slot, we have Deadly Blade Crash which makes crit hits with melee weapons deal 50% of hit damage every second for three seconds while reducing movement speed by 30%. If you all know of any other good loadouts when it comes to using clubs, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Before we get into the gameplay, I did want to test it out against some level 100 Mist Monsters. Not yet, Smasher. Go back in your room. Uh, before we take out the smasher though, the first thing I wanted to point out is that the steering wheel actually spins. So right now it's not really spinning that much because we pulled it out a while ago and we've just been standing here. But if you want it to spin, all you have to do is just change your weapons. And another way you can make it spin is by actually using your weapon. And you see it's spinning a little bit faster now. So yeah, that was the first thing I wanted to point out. Not only does it spin in the menu screen, 
but it also spins in the game as well. But yo, let's go ahead and try to take out this level 100 smash. Let me smash. Uh, first, we're going to start off with the regular attack. Please. Uh, the attack speed really isn't that fast when you have it at Sunbeam and you don't have any attack speed perks. Uh, but yeah, that's the regular attack, and here's what the heavy attack looks like. Looks very similar to the Fortsville Slugger heavy attack. And as you can see, you can stun Mist Monsters with the Drifter. You can also knock them back a little bit because the heavy attack does have increased impact. I believe it uses a total of, yep, it uses a total of 30 energy as well. But yeah, that's what the two different attacks look like against the level 100 Smasher. So folks, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Oh, you can stick me in some kind of Italian boat because that one is gondola. All right, well, I think we've showed enough examples. Take Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. And the mission we're gonna do is this level 100 Ride the Lightning, and we're also gonna be doing it solo. Defend the van. Die, weirdy. All right, well, let's go ahead and do our first wave. Here we go, people. We've got a bonus in play. We didn't get any notifications in regards to their element, so I'm not sure what we're gonna get here. Uh, we were right at the limit as well. And I did sort of overbuild a little bit, like I added a lot of traps, mainly because I don't trust the steering wheel. I really don't like to use this weapon alone by itself. Like I said, until we get some heroes that have perks to help you do more damage with clubs. It's not really going to be a whole lot of good loadouts when it comes to club weapons. So I don't really trust it as much as I would trust you, some other type of melee weapons. Respect the architecture. I do like the heavy attack. I don't know Sorry. if it's going to be my favorite though because I do like the lead sled and wallopers heavy attack as well. Uh, but yeah, we did place down a lot of traps. You see we placed some traps over their spawn. Because, like I said, I don't really trust this loadout we're using at the moment. With some other weapons, we use a lot less traps. And build a lot less. But everything seems to be holding up pretty good so far. And plus, it's kind of good we didn't get any element. Because we have the physical element. Guys, is here. On our steering wheel. Let's go ahead and try to knock him off if we can. Should probably wait till he finishes that animation. There we go. And as you saw right there, it just stunned the smasher. Oh no. There we go, we got him. All right, let's check back up here. Hopefully we don't get an element for the next wave as well. We'll see. Enemy down. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who have uh, tried the steering wheel, let me know what loadouts you would recommend with it. I kind of feel like this one. Oh, we got two smashers. Uh uh. Hopefully our our wall traps knock them off. And I know I'm not using my um, turrets. I'm gonna try not to use them if possible. I really love this heavy attack though. It's really good. I like it. Probably do the same thing on right, huskies. Oh man, we don't have any type of healing pads either. So oh, oh, never mind. Uh, that works too. All right, well, we only got a few seconds left. Uh, that'll pretty much do it for this first wave. I'm going to go ahead and replace and repair everything, and then we'll start the next wave. Bonus challenge success. Good job, team. Well, I didn't have to rebuild much because they didn't do a whole lot of damage. So let's go ahead and start the next the wave. Don't mind me. And they are coming from a different direction this time. Uh, they're mainly going to be coming We've from the east. And it doesn't look like we have any elements this time either, which is perfect. So we sort of got lucky when it comes to the element. Oh. Oh, man. I think we were right at the build limit when we started. I can't really see it now, but I believe we were able to stay under the build limit. And I know it doesn't matter, but I didn't want to make it too easy for us. And we need to, like, heal ourselves. And I may use turrets if we need to, people, because we didn't place that many traps over here in this direction. Smasher. But yeah, when it comes to the driver, uh, it is classified as a hardware weapon. 
a club hardware weapon but I noticed that a lot of the hardware perks don't apply to the clubs I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it's intended but yeah as of right now there aren't really any good heroes when it comes to club weapons and that's one of the main things I don't like about it one of the things I do like though is that heavy attack because it stuns it can knock them back and it looks pretty cool as well so that's one of the main things I like about it is that it stuns and it has a really good heavy attack and I also like how it spins whenever you pull it out steering wheel spins so those are the main things I like about it at the moment oh man I believe this is the only club I've actually maxed out so I don't really have any other clubs to compare it to at the moment but compared to other types of melee weapons the attack speed seems like it's sort of in between it's not too fast it's not too slow again not being able to trigger kinetic overload is automatically gonna make it do less damage than hammers so it doesn't really compete that way either and without any heroes that increase your crit chance with clubs that's also going to prevent you from doing as much damage compared to other melee weapons but for those of you who have leveled up some other club weapons let me know what you think about the drifter compared to those but yeah i feel like it could be a decent club uh, once they come out with a club hero but for right now i kind of feel like it's not worth leveling up and investing xp and materials in i mean unless you think you would have fun playing with it in which case go for it like i said i do really like the heavy attack on it as well as the extra impact you get from the heavy attack but in terms of damage, I don't think it's going to be the best melee weapon. We got a smasher. So we get, uh, we only got 50 seconds left. And oh, wait. Oh, that was because of the wall launcher. I thought we sent that husky flying because of our drifter. Smasher spotted. I'm tripping. Uh, let me know in the comments which rat rod weapon you all would like to see gameplay of next. Uh, all we have left to do is the axle, the crankshot, and the two-step shotgun. So let me know out of those which ones you would like to see gameplay up next. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Drifter gameplay. I believe they've changed the amount of rewards that you get from Ride the Lightning missions. So we'll go ahead and check out the rewards as well. Launch in three, two, one, lift off! But yeah, that'll do it for our first Drifter gameplay. For those of you who have tried it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.